Okay, here we go again. Uh, this one uh, is something I just put on uh, YouTube and uh, I would like to start off by saying let's give us the parameters. So here we've got, this is going to be the six mile range. And by using the six mile range, it just allows us to be able to see uh, quite clearly on here. We're going to be in relative motion. Relative motion. And we're doing, we're going to be heading north, zero, zero, zero. And we're going to be doing 12.5 knots. I'm going to use then relative vectors. And those vectors length are going to be 12 minutes. Okay. So let's put that on where we are now. So this is my old set of compasses from when I was at sea. Gosh. I just found them in the drawer this morning. So there's our course. So we're zero, zero. What do I do? Well, I'm doing, uh, we're doing 12.5 knots. So my vector, and I need to have an idea of what my vector would be. So let's see. So speed equals, uh, speed times time equals distance. So speed here we're doing is 12.5 knots times the time is 12 minutes. But they need to be in the same units because speed is 12.5 knots. That's nautical miles per hour. So 12 minutes is a division of an hour. Six minutes is 0.1. So 12 minutes will be 0.2. How do I do this quickly in my head? Yeah, it's just maths, isn't it? So if I was doing 17.5 knots and I was doing six in six minutes, how far will I have traveled? Well, I just multiply it by one, not unmove the decimal point. So 17.5 in six minutes, I would have traveled 1.7 miles, 1.75 miles, big part. Here, I've done 12.5 and I'm doing it in 12 minutes to give me a reasonable length of vector. So that will be multiplied by 0 0.2. So all I do is then move the decimal point over to make it 1.25 and then multiply it by two, making it 2.5. Okay, so that's 2.5 miles. And that would be my vector, length of my vector. of own vessel. Okay. So here's my target. She came over on the screen and I picked her up or on the 24 mile range. I acquired her with ARPA and I would have waited the three minutes, uh, the minimum three minutes to be able to gain the information with any accuracy. I've watched her come through onto the 12 mile range and now she just pops in and she comes in here just on the six mile range and just see so she just come at the edge there the vector that i can see on her is this Whoa. gosh so what is it? What is she doing? The interesting thing is that I can see her course. Let's call her A. Okay, target A. Her course must be parallel to mine. Yeah, so let's have a look and see. I said that I would have been 2.5 miles. So let's just measure off on the bottom. Oh gosh, look at this. This is a 12 mile range scale and we're on a six mile. So this would be one, this would be two, this would be three, this would be four, this would be five, and this would be six. 
that could be just a little tricky if you weren't aware of that okay so we're doing 12.5 so on here that would be around the middle 12.5 so 12.5 would take her to there so in my head I'm working out that this vessel here in actual fact if she was stopped and she was a lighthouse then she would be that closer to me in 12 minutes because I'm doing 12.5 knots but in actual fact she's coming down here so she can't be stopped she must be actually coming in the opposite direction and because it's parallel to the heading marker for the ease what I've done is I've tried to explain then her course must be 180 what would be her speed well what I need to do is I need to just have a look and see what that would be now that's just short of two miles so call that 1.8 so if she's done 1.8 So if I halve that, that would be 9 knots. No. Halve that would go to 0 0.9. Yeah. And then if I multiply by uh, 0.1, so that would go back and that will be 9 knots. So her speed is 9 knots. Okay. what can i work out well i can work out what her cpa and tcpa would be her cpa would be if i continued this line and then looked at right angles So that's going to be the distance and the distance is the time but I know that this is here let's look at this this is 12 minutes this is zero so if that's 12 minutes that's going to be 4.5 4.5 I take it to 2.25 okay so there she would have been in six minutes so this distance is going to be half that distance isn't it approximately so half that distance so this must be a further three minutes on. So that would be 15 minutes. Yeah. Do we agree? This is guesstimates. Okay. Remember, when we're looking at the radar, we don't have the ability to actually measure to the same extent. So I'm looking for a good uh, estimate. Okay. So what I can say now then is that the teeth... TCPA is going to be in 15 minutes time okay and the CPA that's going to be that's the time of closest point of approach and the closest point of approach is going to be this distance here Let me just have a look see. Oh, and here, about 1.8, 1.9, 1 1.9 miles. Okay, so she's passing nice and nice and clear of me down my starboard side. She's coming down on a reciprocal course. Okay, 
So for the purpose of that's what we're looking for, okay? Um, let's see what else we can find out, okay? I wonder, I wonder whether you wanted to have a look and see what it would be like if she was, if I was to do the OAW triangle. Clearly A is where she is, yeah? Because that's where she is now, at the minute that I'm seeing her. This is all forecast, yeah? So provided that both of us maintain our course and speed, then she will follow this track down. If, however, I was to try and work this out as an OAW triangle, then what I need to do is I need actually to step this back because this is a forecast. So in actual fact, she will be back here. Yeah, so that would be O. So, to intents and purposes, because it just dropped off, because <laughs> it just dropped off my screen. Let me use the top of the page. <laughs> okay. So, here, this is the distance that she's come down. So, O must have been there. Yeah. So. O must have been here. So where would W be? W would be 2.5, as we just said, 2.5. So W would be here. So I've got way of own here would be zero 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 times my speed 12.5 so wa wa would be one eight zero and the time we just looked at that, that would be 1.9. So that would be nine knots. Okay. This is the actual plot. However, this is duplicated here. The only way that we can work this out really is to say that this is a forecast, but this is history. Okay. I hope you found that useful. There will be a few more to come. I'm signing off.